Hey guys, if you're watching this video, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to tell you all about the journey we took to take the OIS test on Nemesis Inferno. The idea was to compare these two phones and the specifically the optical image stabilization function on both of them. You've seen our OIS test on the 920 before, but the HTC One is all, also supports OIS. So we went to Thought Park. Both phones were secured to an arm using these two armbands. As you can see, both, both have flaps that can be secured using Velcro. Now originally, we set out with the 920 in this one and the HTC one in this one, purely because of size. Unfortunately, in our first test on Nemesis Inferno, the 920 stopped recording in this case and the HTC one stopped recording in this case. We're not sure why with the HTC one, but with the 920, is because it's such a tight fit, it's likely that one of the side buttons or the bottom buttons were pressed, even though we'd switched off the advanced multi-touch feature. For the second test, we switched them around. So we found the HTC One was in there, and the Lumia 920 was in there. This worked much better, but as you'll hear in the video, as soon as we got to just before the main part of Nemesis Inferno started, I realised the HTC One had stopped recording. The 920 recorded, and that is the video we've got for you. We went on a third test. We took both of these in the exact same format back on Nemesis Inferno. Our third test on Nemesis Inferno could have been a success apart from the fact that we were stopped from recording by a member of the theme park crew. We then thought, Let's try and take it to Colossus or one of the other rides. We tried Colossus and we tried the Swarm. Both we were stopped from recording at. So, we are left with one video of the Lumia 920 and how it handles a ride that is 29 meters long and has 4.5 G-forces. I hope you'll enjoy the video.